And next, the tiny girl who put the bridge in Caring Bridge. Yeah, I think she left a bigger legacy in her nine days than a lot of us are ever going to leave in a lifetime. This spring marks the 20th anniversary of Caring Bridge. The website provides a crucial link between medical patients and their friends and families. It's also the 20th anniversary of the birth that started it all. Boyd Hooper explains in this week's Land of 10,000 Stories. 1997. Yeah. Time does not dim a parent's pride. So that's her nose and her mouth. Nor the love crafted into this baby book by Joanne Hardiker because it's the only thing I have. Joanne and husband Darren have the book yep. that documents their daughter Bridget's gift to the world. Thinking of you. You are in my prayers. 20 years ago, no one had conceived of a website. Prayers. To keep people with serious illnesses and injuries connected to their families. God bless you. So, no caring bridge when 24 weeks into her pregnancy and newly diagnosed with horrendous complications Joanne heard these words from her doctor we have to deliver the baby and I said well what if we don't because it's not time for the baby and he just said well you will die Joanne delivered Bridget at one pound with Bridget's mom not out of the woods herself we were in survival mode both of us when a family friend asked Darren if there was any way she could help. And I said, well, you know, it's so hard to get back to everybody. And she said, oh my gosh, I'll make a website. Bridget May Swanson came into this world. Bridget's dad is reading a printout of the very first Caring Bridge post. Written and designed seven years before Facebook and a year before Google. She made a guest book. By the couple's computer programmer friend. A healing impact. Sana Maring. People talked about it afterwards and said, Sana, you've got to do something with this. And I knew from that time on that, boy, this was something that had to be there for anyone going through a health journey. Hugs from far away. Today, a new Caring Bridge site is created every six minutes. Hope you're feeling better. More than 700,000 in all, with more than two billion visitors. <laughs> I think it was the same day that I found out I had a brain tumor. I started a Caring Bridge page. Michael Bischoff and wife Jenny have been documenting on Caring Bridge his cancer battle through Michael's words. I have another scan in eight weeks. And Jenny's pictures. Do I read the comments? And like, I, I get that. Um, support and community feeling too. That was right here. Just as Joanne and Darren yep. felt the love. Yep. When their daughter's page announced nine days after her birth that Bridget had died. Caring Bridge is Bridget's legacy. To this day, her name is in its name. And that input element. Her birthday celebrated annually by the three dozen employees at the Egan headquarters of Caring Bridge. I think she left a bigger legacy in her nine days than a lot of us are ever going to leave in a lifetime. Joanne and Darren now have the family they dreamed of. In June, the 20th anniversary of Caring Bridge, Sana will retire as the nonprofit she founded moves on. You will beat this. While Bridget, the girl who helped make a name for Caring Bridge, will go on making her parents proud. That's our daughter. Yeah. <laughs> Boyd Hooper. Carol Evan News, yep. Somerset, Wisconsin. Sana Maring ran Caring Bridge out of her home for the first five years. To this day, the website is 90% funded by the donations of its users. Wow, just amazing. Great work, Boyd.